Hello, I'd like to introduce to you our newest optical biosensor. This third generation sensor builds on the already successful heart rate sensor that we introduced to market a few years ago by adding a critical feature used in health sensing, electrocardiogram or ECG for short. The part number for this product will be MAX86150. In this presentation, I will go over three things. Number one, overview of the product and its value and benefits to you. Number two, how it helps you solve your design challenges. Number three, additional tools and resources to help you design the part into your application. So some of the common design challenges that this part addresses is the differential signal routing, the impedance between the electrode and skin where the contact is made. The most compatible alloys of steel are 308 and 310, but unfortunately they're not solderable. Lastly, ECG and PPG must sample at the same rate. As I said before, this part builds on our existing IP, which was HRM or heart rate monitoring for short. Heart rate variability, which is a unique feature for stress management, and PPG. Blood oxygenation, which is SpO2, is also included in the IP. The new features that we added, as I said before, are EKG. As a side note, ECG and EKG are synonymous terms. What really differentiates this part is the last feature I mentioned. That is, the very first time ECG is being integrated on the same chip with PPG. And what is unique about this part is the high quality of this feature that allows it to undergo FDA certification as a medical device. Now to the block diagram. With that going into details, this part is made up of two main blocks. First is the optical block, which includes the light emitting diodes, and the electrical block, which is made up of two smaller blocks. The electrodes that bring in the ECG signal and the AFE, which houses the photodiode, the ADC, and the LED drivers. Finally is the interface, which is I squared C. So how does this part address the design challenges that I mentioned earlier? For the differential signal routing, you have to ensure the ECG PN lines are shielded, which is simple. For the impedance at the contact point of skin and electrode, you have to try to stay above 100 milliohm input impedance for, for reliable measurements. We recommend conductive epoxy for PCB to electrode connection. Regarding the requirement for samples, of PPG and ECG at the same rate, you may choose 400 hertz sample rate for both ECG and LEDs, though you only require 100 hertz for red and IR LEDs. The bio-optical portfolio, which is the MAX86 series, has a few but very successful parts. The legacy product in this portfolio is the MAX86907 family, which comes in different flavors of LEDs, we have shipped over 300 million units of this product. The next increment was the addition of the UV dye, which can help end users measure their daily UV dosage to prevent skin cancer. This sensor is very useful for products that are designed for outdoor and active lifestyles. Finally, the optical sensor that includes the ECG sensor, which is the MAX86150. We are continually coming up with new sensor de definitions to serve different markets in bio and optical sensors. I hope you have found this part interesting and useful. If you'd like to learn more, please feel free to contact your local sales rep or the DISTI -E of your preference in order to acquire the EV kits. Our EV kits are very easy to use and are designed for fast bring up. Thank you.